Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of House of Cards. We are on episode number 74. Holy moly. And uh, you know what? This is going to be a fun one because we have another Monday mailbag. Yes, yes. A lot of great cards in this uh, mailbag. Some Brady, some Messi, some Russell Wilson, you name it. We got a lot of the goats um, piled up in here. And um, I would love to, you know, kind of get some more of your guys' feedback on the cards that I pick up and just kind of hear your thoughts or your questions or whatever you may have. Um, I'm going to, you know, start trying to encourage you guys to drop more comments um, on the video and um, let me know what you think or, you know, any insights, anything I may have missed or may have, uh, you know, misconstrued or anything uh, like that. That sounds it sounds awesome because I, I love interacting with everybody out there and I love uh, answering uh, comments and questions. So drop your comments and questions below. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, now is your chance. Won't take you more than one second and one click of a mouse. Hit the subscribe button and you will be all set. All right, well, we won't wait any longer. We will jump right into this video. So enjoy the mailbag and see you on your side. All right. Let's start with this little fella. Oh. A little fella with a big fella inside all right well this is a real fun one for me to add to my Russell PC um, I was watching this one for a while added it to my uh, <laughs> watched item list and just kind of kept an eye on it but uh, this is so this is a 2012 tops chrome Russell Wilson so it's a rookie but it's the throwback the uh, whatever it is like throwback this is supposed to be 84 or something I don't, I'm not sure um, but yeah no super cool car and this is the gold variation so you can see it's numbered there to 75 so this is quite a card yeah so this one is a, definitely a candidate to go um, you know of course I gotta look at condition and stuff but it's definitely a candidate to go get graded um, I know they been selling for a pretty penny so hopefully it's in good shape and I don't have to deal with any returns or anything if it's not jacked up the guy said it was good shape when I was uh, buying it from him so I hope he's uh, hope he's an honest eBayer but yeah anyways I will uh, definitely take a look at that one Something I think I want an auction, not something, not something I ordered from uh, the website. I don't believe so. All right, let's see what we got here. Here. Sorry about the long delay. So this is a there we go. 2017 Topps Chrome Kevin De Bruyne, and this is um, obviously the green, uh, which is numbered to 99. You can see up there. There it is. Um, just a beautiful card, I think. Um, 
yeah, just these colors, you know, in this 2017 uh, Topps Chrome. Again, I've talked about this a million times, but first Topps Chrome for soccer. Um, I just think the color, you know, the short print colors are just oh so rare. And, you know, good luck finding them and finding them at a decent price. But I think I got this one for a pretty fair price. So um, I wanted to grab this. I think it looks really nice, even with the kind of light blue. I don't know. I think the green just looks really cool. Plus, you know, it kind of represents the soccer field or whatever. Um, so yeah, so Kevin De Bruyne is one of my one of my guys I collect. So I definitely uh, really like this card a lot. So happy, happy to have this in the collection. All right, right here. It's a piece of paper. sticking out of the top loader come on guys stop <laughs> sending cards and top loaders without sealing seal the top they slide out okay so I don't you know, like get that much into mosaic but I really do like this um, this parallel with the with the jersey match here so this is the red I don't know what they call this the red something red prism or something um, but with the um, the Barcelona jerseys, it just looks really cool because you got the red and then you, they put the blue in there and just, I don't know, it just works. So I picked up this Sergino Dest. I, I really want the Pedri also because he's also on Barcelona and it just looks cool. It's not numbered or anything, but you know, it is a parallel. So, you know, shorter printed than the, the base, but um, yeah, just a cool looking card. Just really looks really classy with the color match and everything. So. Yeah, grab this one for fairly cheap. Nothing crazy. All right. <laughs> what is that? Okay. Some foam contraption here. Okay. I love the. I love seeing what people come up with for mailing things. It's <laughs> so <laughs> random. I swear, this is finding stuff around the house. Just like, yeah, that'll work. Always be careful, because you just never know how the card is on the inside, so don't go like tearing it up. All right, cool. So this is a little bit of a Homer. Homer play on my behalf, a little speculation. Um, it's more of a Homer play than a speculation, to be honest with you. The um, Mariners, Seattle Mariners, are obviously my team, so I'm here in Seattle. And, um, well, he's a shortstop on the Mariners, and he's having quite a season right now. He's definitely uh, playing at, you know, pretty high level right now some people even said he should have been an all-star but um, that might be stretching it a little too far but anyways um i got this tops chrome rookie card of his this is 17 i believe so he was originally um originally drafted by the phillies and then we traded um for him yeah, a couple years ago so yeah he's just you know i i, I don't know i have an i have a feeling that he might he might break out and you know kind of become a, a thing he's just you know he's kind of got all the tools you know he's uh not not you know he's not gonna hit for like 40 home runs or anything like that but you know he's he's like your standard 300 you know average 20 to 25 home runs possibly you know 20 stolen bases and he's a gold glover already so i mean he's, he's a stud so anyways this is a little bit more for my own personal uh, collection i uh, got this on the super cheap but nice you know tops chrome on card auto numbered out of 150 so you know for, for what i paid for it i'm, I'm really happy for this card because i really like jp i think he's a he's an awesome player seems like a cool cool fella too which always makes it easier to invest in somebody when they seem like a you know a genuinely nice person and love loves the game and all that jazz so um, nice bright orange envelope here it's kind of a fun one i might 
see if I can reuse this one. <laughs> I like the bright. Yeah, cool. I can use it. Oh, cool. Kaboom! <laughs> so this is a nice uh, little kaboom I picked up. Um, Robert Lewandowski. If you watch my channel, you know I talk a lot about him as being one of those kind of all-time goats that just hasn't quite broken through the hobby love yet. But he, he does. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like nobody cares about Robert Lewandowski because there's definitely people that care about him. But in the sense of, you know, um, I guess, you know, you have, if you ask the kind of casual soccer collector, which I think most 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 people are nowadays, but um, uh, you they probably would kind of maybe know of him, but not know much about him. But I mean, he's definitely one of the most prolific goal scorers um, in uh, the current era. He's um, also on some you know great teams as part, and you know obviously Bayern Munich is you know always one of the favorites to win, and you know. He's on the Polish national team, so, you know, eh, probably not going to get, like, a World Cup win or anything like that. But, anyways, he's um, he's a stud, and this is his Kaboom. So, this is the 2017-18 uh, uh, Select Kaboom. So, one of the early Kabooms for soccer. So, I like to collect sort of that, you know, kind of genesis of the Kabooms. I think in, like, basketball, it was, like, 2013 or something like that. But, anyways, for soccer, it's a little bit later. But, yeah. Yeah, really beautiful card. I think these are obviously always sought after by most collectors, so I'm really happy to have this one. This so cool looking. <laughs> Kaboom. Alrighty. Just put my address all over it, so we'll just do one of those. Uh, sorry guys. I'll try to get these open quick. But some solid packaging going on here. Let me just see if we can get a slide out. No, of course. Oh okay. Sorry, I keep bumping this. Right on. Okay, so this is actually um, a rookie card of Russell Wilson's, even though it's a, a patch. This is the uh, X Fractor, so this is Topps Chrome, so his main his main rookie set. Uh, this is um, you know an insert, obviously, for his uh, patch. Um, this is numbered out of 99. You see that there? So this is a nice card, X Fractor patch. It's not um, a game worn patch, which you know, obviously that would be ideal, but still, it's a nice. Uh, it's a nice card so yeah I'm gonna see about see how this looks but yeah it's looking pretty decent you know thick cards are always tricky right it's thick cards so you know most likely go to BGS once they uh, once they reopen they're supposed to reopen after the national which is I think next week yeah somewhere, somewhere around there so hopefully that's True, and they follow through on that because I, I got a lot of stuff I need to send in not just the BGS but I mean I'm holding stuff for PSA I uh, I'm definitely uh, got at least a hundred cards piled up ready to go and I'm pretty sure that's the same for a lot of <laughs> a lot of people out there I think PSA is gonna get flooded once they reopen some lower uh, lower price uh, levels it's probably not gonna happen until later this year or the end of the year or next year even but you know I'm ready when they when they are. All right, this one is awesome. I love this card. So this is uh, 2018 Topps Museum. Uh, this is the um, Sugar Sean O'Malley, his rookie card. Um, this is a nice number out of. Sorry, it's hard to see. What is that? 99? Yeah, number 99. You guys kind of catch that there, maybe, sort of. Something. There you go. Um, and then Sugar Sean, his uh, on-card auto. 
<laughs> it's about sugar, Sean. So, um, really cool card. I love the on-card auto. Definitely a, a, a much nicer one. I have another uh, patch auto, but it's a sticker auto. So this one is obviously a little bit more desirable in my opinion. But being a thick card also, this possibly might go to PSA. I'll have to look at it a little bit closer, but I might send it off to uh, Beckett, but we'll see. Anyways, again, not going to PSA right now because $200, even for a card like that, is still too much in my opinion. I think like probably max I'd want to pay to get, you know, that card, you know, 100, 150 would probably be what I'd want to spend on grading that, ideally, but we'll see how things play out here. All right. So you guys are probably, if you watch my channel for any bit of time, you probably see me pick up quite a few of these 2015 uh, Don Russ um, numbered cards of Messi and Ronaldo. I, I just like, I just like you know kind of the first, first uh, you know set for a sport. So if this is the first time soccer um, was made by Don Russ, so I, th I think you know maybe a little bit of relevance to that. But um, these uh, press proofs they come you know I think in three levels they have the gold the bronze and the silver and this one's a gold so this one's numbered out of 99 which is a nice low number um, for a uh, base card here this is um, I mean this is you know Lionel you know, Messi's like 10th year or something so it's not like a super early card of his but still it's a nice number card it's clean it's you know from a uh, you know a, a major set and you know it's the first year of that set for soccer so you know I think there could be Something to be said for those. All right. And they're cheap. <laughs> I forgot to throw that in. And they're still relatively affordable. So I think that's obviously another big draw is that you're not spending hundreds of dollars on a raw card. Um, those are, you know, you can find those a lot of times under 30 bucks or right around that, which I think is very fair for a short, you know, short printed parallel of a of a goat from a major set so makes sense to me cool all right and last but not least so i've kind of slowed up a little bit on grabbing my tom brady uh parallels and stuff because it's kind of become a little bit of a uh, a space of interest for a lot of people as i can tell by the prices recently they've definitely spiked for his you know uh, different refractors and parallels of his different cards over the years but um i still try to you know i keep an eye out just to see what's out there and you know if anything interesting pops up i uh, i grab it as long as it's you know priced right and it's not astronomically stupid um which you know some of them gotten that way i was buying these back in you know february march time um, and they were, I mean, half of what they are now, probably maybe even less than that. So um, they definitely jumped up. I think a lot of people are kind of catching on to the fact that Brady's going to go down as the all time. So, uh, you know, any of his like short printed, you know, parallels, even higher years of like 15, 16, 17, you know, still are, are pretty sought after. So um, this is 2015 um, Prism. Uh, this is a nice parallel this is the red parallel so there's a little bit of a of a jersey match you, you know even though the main jersey is blue but you know the highlights are, are, are red and silver so uh, i think this still looks really beautiful and yeah it looked good in the pictures i think it's just you know this is a nice looking card i think any brady collector would love to have this you stick this into an into a psa slab with the red white and blue on it and i think it could look really sharp so it looks clean on the back which is always the hard part on this one with the full dark back so um, good to see that it's clean there. So, yeah, we'll see how it grades. I think the, the, the scenery on the front looks pretty fair. It looks in the 60-40 range, so I think it could, uh, could do pretty well. All right, well, we are done with another Monday Mailbag. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you saw some cool cards in there. And uh, again, if you haven't um, commented or left any, um, you know, any kind of response to anything, I really appreciate it. It um, goes a long ways. And plus, I just like interacting with everybody. Um, also, if you haven't yet subscribed, you got through the video, you enjoyed it, you had a good time, hit the subscribe button. Um, you can also hit the like button if you enjoyed it or hit the thumbs down button too. That is totally fine if you hated it. All right, guys. Well, we will see you on the next one. And until then, peace.